Today we're making ratatouille. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. The ratatouille is actually an incredibly easy dish. It's not that complex. It takes quite a bit of time to cut all of the ingredients into thin slices. My recipe is one beet, uh, three to four potatoes, depending on the size. And I used one and a half zucchini, but my zucchini are quite large. So you could go for two smaller zucchini as well as two carrots and four tomatoes. I'll list off the spices and other ingredients at a later time. I stopped for a second there to give my tortoise the rest of the zucchini. As you saw, it was bitten into because he went ham on the outside of that baby. He loves zucchini skins. Look at him. Look at this is a little bit of him doing that. His name is Tortellini, by the way. He's adorable. He's my little red-footed tortoise, and I did not realize he loves zucchini skin this much. I mean, dang, look at him go. Look, I mean, he, he's this obsessed with it. After I took him away, he was just desperately trying to run to get it. But I peeled all of that off, so don't worry. I'm not eating it. Now I'm inspecting the carrots, trying to pick ones that are larger. I peeled them and I'm inspecting like, eh, okay, yeah, this is probably how I want to do it. I ended up peeling them into thin strips instead of just cutting the carrot very thinly because the pieces of carrot, if I cut them that way, would just be too small compared to the big hunks of beet or potato that I already have. These thin slices, well, thin peeled parts of the carrot will be much easier to fold and put between the slices of other vegetables. All right, put all of your ingredients into your big pot or bowl and then add four tablespoons of olive oil and a tablespoon of black pepper. I really like black pepper. You don't have to use that much black pepper, but I think it goes really well with these fresh vegetables. We are then going to add a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of rub sage, a teaspoon of oregano, and a teaspoon of lemon pepper. After making this, I'd also recommend maybe putting a teaspoon of garlic powder in there. Mix up all of your ingredients together so the seasonings and vegetables are all mixed together. Take a stick of butter and butter up your pan and start layering the ingredients one by one. Putting a piece of potato, a piece of beet, a piece of carrot, a piece of zucchini, whatever order you prefer, but I like to keep them a little bit separate. So maybe do something like a beet, then a tomato, and then a potato, and then a zucchini, and continue the process infinitely. I did not put the tomato in the pan with the seasonings because tomatoes will kind of fall apart rather easily, and I didn't want them to fall apart while I was combining the ingredients and figured the other parts of the ingredients are already covered in it, so it'll work fine. You want to stack them up vertically, I guess, is the description I want to use. I don't, I di this is the first time I used a tripod to record what I'm doing. Uh, and obviously I didn't really do that great of a job because I put the food off to the side when I should have, you know, uh, had that as the main focus here. But you'll get the idea. I'll show you the recipe after it's finished. It looks very, very beautiful. A little bit of trivia while I am stacking these things in the pan, ratatouille isn't really a recipe at all. You might be watching this being like, oh, I wanted to make the recipe from Ratatouille the movie, and that's exactly what I'm kind of recreating. But in reality, I learned this from my French teacher when I take, was taking French class, is that in French, ratatouille more or less just means a kitchen sink. You know, taking your leftovers or anything you may have in your fridge and just throwing it together randomly to make a random good dish. This is something that people do a lot in France and just call it ratatouille. Obviously, uh, ours is much more Americanized from the movie, but it is on its own a sort of different dish. So I'd call this ratatouille American, maybe? I just always found that as a le nice little fact that most people don't really know about the movie. That's why it's so impactful to eat Ratatouille and remember his mom making Ratatouille. Uh, but at the same time, it is a different recipe every single time you make it. That's the idea of Ratatouille. So it's a little bit nice little bit of uh, trivia, you know what I mean? All right, so put in the last little bit here and we are finished. That's what it looks like. Look how beautiful that is. Gonna slam that right into your oven, just how it is. 
and put it at 350. I already preheated it. We're going to set the timer to eh, 20, maybe 25 minutes. I think 25 minutes is good. And start, come back to it. And after 25 minutes, let's grab our two teaspoons, I mean tablespoons, not two spoons, sorry. Two tablespoons of butter. And we're going to apply a nice layer to the top of the dish. This will keep it moist, as you may have noticed after the 20 minutes, it's dried out a little bit. And also on top of this, as an extra precaution, just to ensure that it doesn't burn or anything, we are going to add a layer of aluminum foil around the entire top and outside of the dish and put it back into our oven for an extra 40 minutes or until the food is done. Kind of check on it as you go, maybe 20 at a time. And look at that. It was so delicious, I already ate a third of it. It turned out perfectly. The sauce is this nice, beautiful red from the beets and the tomatoes. You pour it back on top if you want to add the juices back into it. It tastes absolutely wonderful. Try it out.